Hey guys, welcome to the New Trafford episode 3 with me, Mr. Cudley. So, before we delve into what's been going on, guys, um, please, please, please give me some thumbs up with some likes. Uh, any comments will be more than welcome. And please, please, please just press subscribe. Tell all your friends. Come on. Right, so that's out of the way. Just uh, smooth, gone. Right. <sighs> Let me tell you what's been going on then, guys. Right, so, since we last met, guys, uh, we had a 5-0 victory over Seville. Well, let me tell you, it has been going absolutely fantastic. Better than I could have wished for. Uh, we are top of the table. Uh, however, we do have uh, some very interesting games coming up. Let me just run through some of these first, guys. Um, so, yep, yeah, we beat Villa 1-0. I'm not going to spend so much time doing all this uh we beat villa 1-0 uh rashford um sorry cavani scoring rashford having one chalked off uh reasonably tight affair nothing major uh we were just too good for them so next one so champions league much in glatch and back i think that's how you say it uh we beat 1-0 um at their ground uh, 50 50 possession and Fernandez scoring a penalty quite late on if I recall, 80 for 81st minute. So, yeah, that was the second game. Um, so, yeah, let's go again. So, straight after the Champions League game, we had um, a game, a few, I think it was three days later, against Wolves away. Uh, managed to scrape a draw out of that. Uh, we went one up. Uh, Anthony Martial getting on the score sheet. Um, Jimenez scoring in the 33rd minute and to be fair it was a bit of a uh, a bit of a, a drawn out process from both teams really so uh, because we played the game uh, midweek it was it, it was tough for us physically it was tough uh, but Wolves didn't bring any more to the show so we got away with a 1-1 draw so next one so guys after the Wolves 1-1 draw we then had another midweek fixture uh, away at home to Atalanta, which you can see we won convincingly 3 0. Um, Cavani, Rashford getting a couple. Um, yeah, I was happy. Thought we played well. So, yeah, no more to say about that. Next one. So, after the Atlantic, Atalanta game, guys, Spurs was our real test today, our biggest test today, which we came through with flying, col yep, flying colours. I thought I said frying, flying colours. Um, Cavani getting a goal and Rashford once again bagging a couple for himself. Um, I think we, we murdered him. Nothing more could be said. Next. So after the Spurs game, we then went to um, back to Old Trafford where we had Fulham as the visitors. Uh, we changed the team around a fair bit uh, with, with this team. Uh, Henderson started in goal. Um, Brandon Williams started a right back. Kistana and Eric Bailey played centre half. Uh, Tellez been playing fantastic for me. Played left back. I think he's played most anyway there. So uh, Van der Beek decided to play. Well, we we decided to play Van der Beek in the DLP. Um, Pogba and McTominay in the midfield. Uh, inside forward right was Greenwood. Left side was James. Up front Cavani. He has been immense for me. Didn't think he would be this good on this game. The guy is lethal. Um, talking of Cavani, gets a goal. Um, so, you know, four goals, 4-0 four win at home to Fulham. Good stuff. Guys, we've suffered our first defeat away to Atalanta in the um, group stages. Uh, not much to say, really. Uh, we didn't really create a great great deal. Uh, well, the XG shows we didn't create a great deal. A little more than Atalanta. Obviously, they scored their goals, took their chance, and we never done ours. So, you know, we'll learn from our mistakes. Just a few days later, we played an away game at West Ham. Once again, changed the side a little bit. Um, Tunzabi came and played the deep line playmaker role. We were struggling with fatigue. Um Getting a few injuries coming about. Juan Basaka, Maguire, Bali, Tellez. Across the back four. Uh, Tanzabi, we've spoke about. Fernandez and Pogba. Greenwood, James and Cavani. Once again, Greenwood and Cavani. Contrib contributing really... I can't say that word. They're doing well together and scoring lots of goals. Next. <laughs> Champions League time again, guys. Away to Seville. Got a 1-1 draw. Cavani on the score sheet once again. 
Um, that game actually got us into the qualif qualifying groups. Uh, so we've qualified and we are now in the first round knockout. And let me tell you, we were... To say lucky, I think he's just about right with the draw because some big teams were matched with some big teams. But we'll go through that shortly. So next up, we were playing a home game to Brighton, where, as you can see, two of the winners, Cavani on the score sheet, scoring both goals. Guy's on fire at a minute. Team, De Gea, Williams, Maguire, Lindelof, Tells, uh, Bentica, Fernandez, McTominay. Brilliant. McTominay, I can't knock his training. He's been fantastic. Constantly getting a 9.5 to a 10 every week. Rashford, James and Cavani up front scoring the goals. So, yep, next one. <laughs> so this game um, provided us with eight goals. Eight goals, 4-4 four, four at Old Trafford. The fact we conceded four goals at home was quite annoying. But the fact we was already gone through, um, I can't say I twinkered that much with the team because I put a good side out. A side I would thought would be uh, competitive to win. Uh, XG of 2.53. Um, dominated, BMG dominated us in uh, possession. Um, score sheet was Greenwood, Rashford once again getting a couple. And Wan Basaka scoring his first goal for Manchester United. So, you know, don't see that very often, guys. Wan Basaka scoring a goal. Next. So that then brings us on to the team that the only team to beat us so far this season, Leicester City. But at Old Trafford, it was a different story. We came out 3 1 victorious winners. Uh, 2.56 on the XG, 10 shots at goal, 7 on target. Cavani scoring a hat trick. I mean, you just can't, you know, you can't write this shit for him. Absolutely immense. Real, real pleased with him. Um, team, we put a strong side out. Um, the only thing we've done different on this game as opposed to the others is rather than have a high defensive line because they punished us last time with their fast, fast forwards, we just sat back and we just dictated and dominated the game. So, super happy. And in saying that about the defensive line, I forgot to move my defensive line back up, which allowed us to allow Newcastle to score... Um, two goals and go two 0 up, and we was we we were bailed out by Cavani and Telez. Uh, penalty, ninety third minute, probably not a penalty. If I'm honest, it was one of the moments where you think it's not a foul, but it was given. Uh, should have really been another defeat, but thankfully, thanks referee, paid him enough money for this game to give us a penalty. So well done, Mister Referee. Next, so our last game that we have played before this episode was away to Sheffield United. Um, two new winners, um, Rashford and Greenford, once again, on the score sheets. Uh, changed things around a little bit. As I say, we are starting to struggle with um, injuries, um, you know, fatigue, a lot of travelling. Um, so we changed the front three. James, I've been really impressed with. Um, just every time I've played him and put him in, he, he seems to have done something in the game that's helped create a goal or, you know, done something. So I've been really impressed, a lot more impressed than I thought I would be. Um, so, you know, there may be a, a contract in the offering for him soon. Not too sure. I'm just going to see. But I am looking at a few other players as well for that position. So watch this space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the Liverpool live for you guys so we can see it. I'm going to play the West Brom. And then cut back in. And we are going to have the Man City game. So we are going to have two games today, guys. The Liverpool and Man City. But there'll be three results. Hey, eh? Have you seen that done before? What? You have? Oh, right. So it's nothing new. Ah, oh, okay. Bummer. Okay. Thought I might have got myself a few more, view a few more viewers with that one. Okay, never mind. Right. Let's get to it. Tactics page. Liverpool. Let's do it. Right, tactics page, here we go. So, the team has been selected. Uh, this is the team we're going with. Uh, De Gea in goal. wan will play right back. Uh, Shaw will play left back. In the middle, centre-arse. Maguire, Linderoff. Um, we're going to have Bentica just playing in front on a deep-line playmaker role. Um, also, we're going to have deep-line playmaker role as Paul Pogba just sitting in front with Van der Beek as the attacking playmaker. Fernandez is out injured. Uh, Greenwood will play the inside forward right. Uh, Rashford will play inside forward left. And up top, 
Hopefully scoring goals for fun today will be Cavani. Right. I think I, I'm going to need to bring my defensive line down, guys, because we know what they're all about. So they're going to try and get in around the back. So we just need to play a bit cautious this way. So let's do this. I'm actually nervous. Actually nervous. I'm not doing that. Let's do it. TV, get your money's worth. Come on, boys. Don't let me down now. We've just had a six, seven day rest as well. Um, no games in between. So we, we've got players that have been able to build up some uh, some stamina, some conditioning, some sharpness. Uh, and it all it's all going to help. We've sat at the top of the table since the beginning. And if we lose today, this will be the first time we've been taken taken down a peg or two, I suppose. That was so easy. Oh, come on. It's a free kick. Nothing more than a free kick. So you play 41 and Pogba's struggling and Greenwood's struggling. Not enough time. It's a free kick referee. Right, we're a goal down, so we need to do something. Um, I think we need to go back. Maybe just be a little bit higher. Um, let's go to the dressing room. Show me something else in the second half. I'm actually going to go a bit more attacking. Yes, we're going to be uh, leaving ourselves wide open, but I think we need to try and get back in the game. Maybe ask some questions of them for a change. Or maybe not, as the case may be. I just don't want us to freeze. I think we're going to freeze on on a big occasion again. You know, well, uh, what 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 can you get much bigger than, you know, playing the team that's going to be well. That is your biggest rival. All right, we've got to make a change. Um, I'm going to put McTominay on and change his role. Get another bit more support, another box to box. We're going to be a bit more open now. Um, Greenwood struggling. And Rashford struggling. Um, they haven't really been at the races, have they? Taking them off. Dealt with that problem. Cavani is looking furious, not happy. Demand a bit more. Oh, such a bad result, guys. Not happy with that. A 1 0 loss. Um, Liverpool puts Liverpool top. Next game is West Brom, and then we have Man City. So uh, we're going to skip now, and I'll come back just like magic with the Man City game. And prior to that, before that, there will just be the result for the West Brom. All right, guys, catch you in the mo. Right, guys, West Brom game. It's been, it's gone. 4-0 winners. Uh, nothing much more I'm going to say about that, other than we were winners and we scored four goals. So it's crucial. It's time to go to the City game, seeing the tactics page.
So this is the team we have chosen for today's game. A little bit defensive, you could say, but also a little bit more... Um, I just know what's going to happen. I just know... I just I might change, actually. I might change Van der Beek. Um, no, I'm going to stick... I'm going to leave it with McTominay because I like his work rate. His work rate's good. Um... Yeah, McTominay's work rate's good, and you know he's he's done all right, seven, seven oh eight. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that, guys. So in goal, De Gea, right back, Wan Bissaka, left back, Shaw, centre half, Maguire, Linderoff. DLP is Benzakar. DLP pushed a bit further forward is Pogba. Hopefully going to dictate a little bit more. McTominay is the advanced playmaker. Fernandez still out injured. Um, and inside forward is Martial. I'm not overly sure why I've gone for that, but I don't. I just think Greenwood. He's he's just struggling. Greenwood is struggling. Uh, Rashford inside forward right, and once again Cavani, the meme, the goal machine, who has just signed a new. Um, well, he signed an extension to his current contract, so he's with us for another year. Uh, and after this game, I will show you the draw that happened for the Champions League that I spoke about earlier on in the series or episode haven't forgotten just want to get this game done so <sighs> there it goes please so we'll just press the instant result right let's do it <laughs> so it'll be an absolute tragedy if we lose this now as well as the Liverpool and Liverpool push on and get points and Man City Man City win this I think it puts them one point or level above us uh, one point or level above us. One point above us or level. I know what I meant. Um, your cranium there. Right. We're at home yet again. We can't afford to lose this one. So we've tried to play to um, to help accommodate us with how City are going to play. So we've pushed just a little bit further forward. So we're sort of midway in a lower line and a high line. We're just we're just we're just in the middle and. I'm hoping that gives us room for error at the back and also room to push on and force errors and score goals. So, you know, oh, for freaking hell, wan is injured straight away. So, Williams is that to come on. It's not a bad thing. He's a cracking player, to be fair. I do feel it's now January. We need another striker. Um, Martial doesn't cut it for me. That's a very quiet half. Martial doesn't cut it for me. Um, I think I actually might move him on next season. Uh, Cavani definitely staying. I need another striker. So any of you guys out there, any suggestions on a striker? Um, I've got about £35 million to spend. Uh, ideally, I don't want to spend it all. It'd be, it'd be nice to pay £20 million as a put-down and then for add-ons. I'm happy to do that. Any of you guys got any ideas for... Uh, I don't even want to call him a backup striker, but I need another striker. Rashford... Yeah, he can play there, but when he plays there and I've got players injured, there's no one to play on the left. I just feel another attacking player, a forward, a goal scorer. Ideally, no, no I won't get Harry Kane. <laughs> oh, how I love Harry Kane. Um, not going to happen. So, yeah. Any ideas on a fairly good strike? It's going to get me, you know, 10 to 15 goals a season in a sort of rotation based. So, any of you guys know, let me know. Right, well, I'll stop talking about that stuff. Let's get on with this. Um, here we go. So I'm going to give him a shout of a little bit of a, a demand more. Bernardo is the first bit of action. Oh, the ball breaks. Cavani gathers. He's got a lot of room over on the left hand side if you can find it. Rashford. Oh, no, never a penalty. Bernardo. I hope this isn't them. Pogba wins the ball. Cavani, great ball to Rashford. On his right foot, shoots. Just goes wide at the post. Goalie didn't, didn't move. He wasn't troubled. Look at the run, look at the run. No, what's that run over there? He's so good at that, Sterling. Cleared away. A bit more competitive this half, isn't it? Oh, great challenge. McTominay, Pogba, 
Rashford running with the ball, running straight at the defence. Now he's checked out wide. Good challenge. Great challenge. No. I mean, I'm a, I want United to win it, but that's not a penalty. No way a penalty. That's... <laughs> Never. I'll be amazed. No, I was going to say, you can't give a penalty for that. You see the direction the ball went. Rashford, Martial, Pogba, big players are sort of struggling there again. Just playing too many games, we need a long rest and I can't give him a rest. Just had a week. Oh, Mares. So the counter attacks on, Gabriel Jesus carries the ball forward. Takes it down to the left. Found himself on the left channel. Crosses Gundogan. Gundogan, sorry. Gundogan. Fernandino, great ball out to the right. Concello. Crosses. It's there. Phil Foden, the little shit. Right. Ah. Oh, fucking hell. Right, Luke Shaw, you're coming off because you're struggling. Your attitude's wrong. Mason, you're coming on for Marsh. Martial, that is. I'm taking Rashford off. No, 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 I'm not taking Rashford off. I can't do that. Just like the Liverpool game. Just like the Liverpool... I'm not exactly being outplayed, but... So we've now gone attacking. No choice. Lindelof, free kick to Maguire. Into Pogba. Bent the car. Great ball. Greenwood just comes on. Smashes it in. Great goal. Great goal. Come on, Greenwood. It's what happens when you come on and you don't play too much football and you're a little bit fresher. Just a little bit fresher. Well, a draw doesn't help either, either side, really. Just helps Liverpool drag four points clear. If they win. So, as promised, the Champions League draw has happened. And look at what we have. Man City play Real Madrid. One big team going out. Salzburg play Juventus. We play Lazio. Barcelona versus PSG. Two big teams will be departing this round. Two huge teams will be going. Uh, Shakhtar Donetsk versus Borussia Dortmund. Benfica versus Atletico. Porto versus Liverpool and Seville versus Bayern Munich. So, guys, holders by Munich, will they prevail? Will they get there? Who will go through? Real Madrid or City? Or will it be Barcelona or PSG? But more importantly, guys, will we get past Lazio? Episode 4 will be the Lazio Champions League knockout. All right? So, please... Stay tuned, tell all your friends, subscribe, thumbs, comments, and I'll keep making content, guys. So from me, Mr. Cuddly, once again, guys, till we meet next time, it's over and out. Cheers, guys.